Hi, I'm Lauren Birkbeck. I'm the course leader for the Equine Sports Science course and today we're going to take a look at the facilities you'd be using if you came to study on our equine courses. So now we're in our outdoor arena and behind me you can see a horse and rider riding in front of our Qualysis motion capture kit. This is the gold standard in motion capture and by wearing anatomical landmarks it allows us to capture motion in all three dimensions. Right now we're in the labs here at Brackenhurst and these facilities are vast and wide ranging. We use these embedded in teaching where you might be doing anything from faecal egg count to genetic sequencing of fungi and in a wide variety of research which we do in collaboration with international leading facilities and bodies. Here we're down on the yard of Brackenhurst campus and we're seeing how our state-of-the-art research really informs the facilities here on campus. We're in a well-ventilated stable testing the air quality to really inform us on how we can improve the health, welfare and performance of horses. We also have heart rate monitoring equipment here that not only allows us to look at heart rate of equine and human athletes but it also allows us to measure heart rate variability. Heart rate variability is a much more advanced measure of what's going on in the body and it allows us to assess the stress that might be being experienced by our equine or our human athletes. This is excellent especially for our equine based welfare research. I'm currently stood in one of our three riding arenas. This is our indoor arena which as you can see is nice and light and airy allowing us to ride whatever the weather and just like all our arenas we are regularly testing our surfaces with the latest standard of equipment. We also have our outdoor arena where jumping or flat work lessons can take place as well as a cross country course and our research arena which is a more enclosed space ideal for groundwork sessions such as long lining or any research that needs to be free from distraction. So my particular area of interest is actually looking at how the horse interacts with surfaces. Um, one of the ways that we can actually assess the surface is using a number of mechanical pieces of equipment that actually allow us to understand a bit more about what's going on. So for instance things like show jumping arenas, dressage arenas, training tracks and also cross country courses and looking at the ground condition at, at, at those sorts of events. Um, students often get involved in some of these types of projects so uh, it allows them to understand a bit more about things like spatial variation how um, environmental factors affect the surface and also different types of management. Hi, my name's Sarah Hallam. I'm course leader for Equine Behaviour Health and Welfare degree. This is the performance analysis room and we use this alongside the amazing mechanical horse to do lots of research and practical sessions with our students. We can use kits such as the rain gauge, the tech scan saddle pressure pad to look at how riders sit and develop ways in which we can improve performance for both horse and rider. We also have surround cameras so that the rider can instantly access the data that they need to be able to make changes to their riding position and to look at how they can improve their performance throughout. We use the mechanical horse a lot with our students. It's a fantastic tool for developing their riding skills. It also works very well with building confidence as as they can improve their technique on the horse, they can then take this onto a real horse. We also use it for research, um, especially industry relevant topics such as stirrup length, saddle design, etc. We also use it for rider fitness in relation with heart rate monitors and we can also use the Watt bike that we have here because this looks at loading patterns of legs which is obviously directly related to how a rider sits in the saddle. So one of the things we are most proud of here at NTU is our welfare friendly housing and this extends to our livery horses who are housed in these loose stables with chat hatches so they can display social behaviours as well as daily turnout. And that goes for all of our horses. Turnout in groups is a regular part of their routine. They're housed in social housing where they're able to display tactile as well as visual behaviours, housed in groups and even they can choose whether they want to be inside or outside such as in the case of our compu Thank you ever so much for watching. We hope to see you at an open day soon.